Hi, I'm Merlin Olson. And I love the outdoors as much as I love football. The fish and fishermen are coming back to our waterways because the water is cleaner. But oil spills happen, and even if they're small, they make it hard to keep the water clean. These are scenes from the Exxon Valdez oil spill in Alaska. Huge spills like this are uncommon, but tens of thousands of smaller ones pollute our waterways every year. Oil companies have tried many techniques to extract spilled oil from water. In the Alaskan spill, they sopped up only 15 to 25 percent of the oil. The rest was left to Mother Nature. There has to be a better way. Using ideas from NASA, the folks at Petro-Rem found a way to permanently and safely remove oil from water. It's called PRP, and it's a spin-off of NASA's breakthrough technology. In fact, it's even been nominated for NASA's Hall of Fame. PRP eats spilled oil. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to add some clear lake water to these jars this also works with murky water, but it's a little harder to see. Now I'm going to add some oil to simulate an oil spill. To this jar, I'm going to add some liquid bilge cleaner. It also acts the same way a dispersant does. Now, the same kind of action you'd get on the ocean or in a moving boat. And as you can see, the cleaner has bonded with the oil and sent it to the bottom. Now, if this were a real oil spill, it would have sent the oil to the seafloor. What happens after that? Nothing. And that's the problem. The oil sludge stays at the bottom. Now, let's try something different. This is petrol rem technology at work. Same lake water. We'll add a little oil. And now we're going to add something called PRP. It's all natural and non-toxic. Get the lid on. Give it a little agitation here. Look at this. Here's the clean water, but where's the oil? It's right here, floating on top, encased in small spheres of treated wax, so tiny microbes from the environment can get at it. That's right, they eat the oil, millions of them, feasting on used oil until it's all gone. And when the oil is consumed, the PRP degrades too. There's no residue, nothing is left. And the PRP keeps the oil from sinking so that it doesn't contaminate sea life. The official name for this is bioremediation. Unofficially, it's a no-brainer. <laughs>